Hello again everyone, Sal here uh, from Sal's Tavern .blogspot.com, YouTube channel Sal's Tavern. Uh, today's uh, video, we're going to be playing uh, some Super Nintendo games off our PlayStation 2. Um, I don't own a Super Nintendo, but uh, I did own one at one time. And um, I don't think there's anyone out there who doesn't like uh, Super Mario Brothers. So we're going to run um, some Super Mario games off the PlayStation 2. We're going to emulate the Super Nintendo entertain, uh, the Super Nintendo system. So um, same rules apply as my last video. You're going to need an exploited memory card. Um, visit my link. Um, I sh one will be coming up right now on uh, creating your own exploited memory card and what this is for the people that are joining us for the first time is um, the PlayStation 2 will boot off this memory card and then you can launch custom uh, applications known as homebrew applications that people write and the last video I did we uh, uh, we we um, ran some DivX files and MP3s off the PlayStation 2 so now today we're going to uh, use it uh, to emulate a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's get started. Um, the card stays the same. What you're going to need on your USB stick is the Super Nintendo, the NES, the SNES emulator, which um, will be linked in my show description. And also the ROMs. Now the way I have it organized uh, uh, on here is uh, right in the root directory. I have the, uh, just for organization's, uh, organization sake, um, it doesn't matter where you put them, but in the root directory I have the emulator and then in a the folder I uh, called um, NES ROMs, I, that's where I drop the uh, ROMs uh, into. Okay, so let's get started here. <clears throat> pop in your card, pop in the memory stick. USB memory stick and uh, just turn it on. Free McBoot, those of us just joining, um, very important to have uh, to run these, uh, these applications. So here's the updated menu. We're going to go down to uh, U Launch Elf. And you launch Elf will now uh, show a directory here. For circle, go down to Mass, which is our USB stick. And right here I have SNES underscore EMU dot ELF. If it's an ELF file, you can run it. So here we go. And there is... Um, because it's a tube TV, I, I'm pretty sure you can't see it that well, but um, it's all here. Now when you run it for the first time, it's going to scroll through some credits. And then you have your, uh, you got CD-ROM, USB, memory card slot 0, which is your number 1, and memory card slot 1, which is your number 2 memory card slot. Okay, so we're going to go down to USB. And here is the whole directory of the USB uh, stick. So we, uh, we want to go down to um, SNES ROMs, the folder I created. Again, just make it more organized and easier to find. And uh, I only put a couple here. I only put Tetris. Uh, one ROM is Tetris and Dr. Mario, and the other ROM is Super Mario All-Stars. So let's run Super Mario All-Stars. And the card is uh, getting access. You, uh, you probably can't tell. But there it is, Nintendo. I'm just going to push start so we get the whole picture there fast. And now uh, with this particular ROM, we have uh, Super Mario Brothers from uh, the original Nintendo. It's been updated though for the Super Nintendo. Um, and then we have some Lost Levels which was unreleased in the US. Anyway, we've got two, three. These have all been updated for the Super Nintendo. So let's just, um, let's run Mario, uh, Super Mario World. Hit start, and then hit start again. Now I'm not sure how well the file saves work, but it apparently as you see, as you've seen that it lets you save files, but I haven't played with this long enough to uh, 
to test it out. Anyway, one player game. <clears throat> We're just going to do a few seconds of the uh, thing. Look at just like just like the Super Nintendo uh, version, which it is. All right. And you probably can't hear it. Let's get the audio going here. Oh, I died. Anyways, as you can tell, it works. Whoa. Now we're gonna quit. You hit both um, L and uh, L1 and R1, and it'll bring you back to this menu here. Uh, sorry, it'll you can quit, and then it'll bring you back to the directory. Let's run. Let's run Tetris now. If I can get there. Anyways, can I run it? Anyways, that's it there. Just uh, select your uh, your uh, your ROM file, and it'll run it no problem. All right, so this concludes this video, running uh, Super Nintendo uh, games off of your PlayStation 2. And you get some funky music with that. <laughs>